A Bloody Mary is the quintessential brunch drink, or the drink you have the morning after the night before. But whether it's for celebration or recovery, let's learn to make a basic Bloody Mary the right way. Whenever you make a cocktail, you want to start by preparing your glass. So here's our glass that we're going to put the Bloody Mary in. I'm going to run a lemon wedge right around the top of that, and then I'm going to dip it into celery seed. That is our garnish around the rim of the glass. Our glass is ready to go. There are two main ingredients in a Bloody Mary, the vodka and the tomato juice. And of these two ingredients, the most important one is the tomato juice. It's really important to get a tomato juice that you like the flavor of, that is thick, rich with the tomato acidity. One that you would like to drink on its own is a good tomato juice to pick. The vodka, not as important actually, sorry to say. Use a vodka that you like, but it doesn't have to be top shelf vodka for this drink. Instead, spend your money on getting really good tomato juice. So let's start by making our drink. I've got two pint glasses here. I'm gonna start with the basic ingredients for a basic Bloody Mary. There are lots of different variations, but today we're sticking to the basics. So horseradish goes in. We're gonna use some hot sauce, about two or three dashes, depending on how hot you like your Bloody Mary. We're also gonna add some Worcester sauce to this, about three or four drops there, and some salt and pepper. Now we're gonna add our vodka. We're gonna put two ounces of vodka in. And our most important ingredient, that delicious tomato juice, four ounces. So that goes in, then we're gonna squeeze lemon juice, and now we have to mix this together properly. So to do that, we need some ice. Get some ice into your glass, fill it up, and now to cool this drink down, we're gonna to toss this drink back and forth between the pint glasses. We don't wanna use a shaker for Bloody Mary, we don't wanna break those ice crystals up. We just wanna cool the drink down as well as we can. Now we simply transfer this to our glass. And now here comes the fun part. We get to garnish it. The traditional garnish, of course, is a stick of celery with the leaves on, but I love pickled green beans. I think having a shrimp on the side can be a fun catch. And check this out. How about a piece of bacon cooked on a skewer with a blue cheese stuffed olive on the top? Throw some extra olives there if you want to. How about a lemon wedge? You can go as crazy as you want to go with a Bloody Mary, and that's half the fun of the drink. A Bloody Mary is also a great drink to serve to a crowd in a pitcher. Increase the quantities and add everything except the vodka and the hot sauce. Let people add those two ingredients on their own so they can customize the drink to suit their tastes. And remember, never put the ice with the mix because that will water down the mix. Set up a table with the mix, the ice, the vodka and the Tabasco, and then prepare your garnish bar and let people go to town. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to see more of the basics, click right over here. If you'd like to see everything I used in this recipe, click over here. And if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for more basics, put them right down in the comments section below.